Hello and welcome to another Project Estimator training video here. We are still looking through how to search through our RS Means guides. Today we're going to look at the navigation tree. So we'll swing over here to E4 clicks. We're starting where we've been starting on these few here. Um, we've done the index, the favorites, and the search. So if you haven't seen those, go pop in and see those videos. But we're starting from the estim updating estimate window on the line items tab. All right. So how do we open up our guide? Right click. We can open up our default or choose from our list of guides. Let's bust open the default guide. And we're in the BCCD. So here we go. We know that the locate field is dedicated for numbers only. Again, if we know the number, we can start typing that. If we're going to be looking a little bit different for words or different things, then we're going to use some of our other search utilities. Obviously, we're doing the navigation tree today. So how do you think we get to the navigation tree? You are correct. Right click, search utilities, navigation tree. All right. So navigation tree is going to open when we click that. Anybody see the hot key over there? Control N. That's right, right? I for index, F for favorites, S for group, S for search, uh, N for navigation tree, right? So if we open up the navigation tree, then we get our guide navigator. We'll come back to this window. We remember that hotkey, right? So we'll try control N, pops it up, right? One more way to open up the navigation tree. We've been working through our toolbar icons, the index, the favorites, the search. And now we've got the navigation tree. So it's a little folder structure there. We click on that, and boom, we're into the guide navigator. So when we saw the index a few videos ago, that was kind of the back of the book. The guide navigator is kind of the beginning of the book, right? So the table of contents. This is kind of a cool way to see the different groups that RS Means has organized all of their line items into. So it's kind of nice to see. So we can walk through here either with our arrow keys if we want to. Um, we have also can use the mouse, of course. So we see, let's go to finishes here. So we can use the plus, and what that does is it's going to show us basically the different levels. Okay, so here um, the first level is going to be our division level, right? And then we can get into the second level here. We can see, let's do common res work results for finishes, so 0905. And then we can see the third level there, right? 05 is selected demolition for finishes, and 71 is acoustic underlayment, right? So let's open up this one here, and we can see now we're looking at the fourth level. So these are our different headers, right? When we get to the pages, right, that little page icon there, we're not going to be able to drill down any deeper. Basically, that would get into the fifth level, which would be the actual line items themselves, right? So we're going to be staying here in the groups. Now, we can jump to any of these different levels, okay? So we could jump um, all the way up to 09, and then any of these levels all the way down to the fourth level here even. So we're going to do that either by hitting the Enter key on the keyboard to jump there or by hitting the Locate Item button. When we do that, boom, we've jumped right over to 090510, Selected Demolition of Ceilings. Now, we remember that the Guide Navigator is sticky, right? So that's... We could come right back here and click on that if we wanted to, and then jump over to the Select Demolition, the Flooring if we wanted to. I'll hit the Enter key this time to jump us there, and we're there. We could also, if it was hidden or we couldn't see it or whatever, we could use our different ways to open it back up, and we could go and hit the Navigation Tree, and again, it's going to leave us right where we were. So this is a pretty nice way to kind of look through and see what groups we have, uh, kind of a quick way to look through the table of contents. One other thing that we can do here, uh, I mentioned that you can use your arrow keys, you can also use the, the keyboard a little bit. So I hit two there, and that jumped to the first um, two that we saw here, fire suppression, so we could come down to plumbing, right? So we could open up plumbing and look through there. So as another example, so if we opened up plumbing, we can see our different plumbing options. Uh, we could look through HVAC, it's, we could drill down, see what kind of uh, different uh, chillers we have, or different options is another way to look at this, kind of see um, a little bit bigger picture of where we can go and find items and what some of our options are. But for plumbing here, maybe we could go to facility distribution, and then maybe we go to facility water distribution piping, and we can see we've got 
brass piping, copper tubing, steel, all those different things right there in a nice, we could jump in between those maybe if we wanted to go and get different types of the piping, right? And then jump right over there. So hopefully that's making sense. Um, the guide navigator, basically the table of contents, lets you break down, you go through um, the book based on the numbering breakdown. Um, some people have memorized a lot of these numbers, and so it's a nice way that they're kind of comfortable with to kind of drill down, but it's an easy way to do there and then jump back and forth real quick. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the navigation tree. Hopefully that's one more quiver to put in your uh, toolbox there, uh, or one more arrow for your quiver, if you will. Uh, but please look at those other search utility videos as well as all of the, the videos here that might help you out. And as always, um, please feel free to contact us if you need anything at all. Thank you so much. Have an awesome, awesome day.